Adelaide's new Lord Mayor is foreshadowing a new era of cooperation with the state government. Stephen Yarwood says the town hall will work closely with Parliament and he strongly backs the planned upgrade of the Adelaide Oval. The fight over Victoria Park sparked a fractious relationship between the government and the last council. A small tin pot city council like Adelaide should not be able to uh, stop uh, a project that the vast majority of South Australians want. Now the government's selling a new major project and the new mayor is promising to turn the relationship around. As far as I'm concerned, in my personal opinion, there's only one not negotiable and that is the Adelaide Oval development must happen. Stephen Yarwood says he wants better cooperation between the government and council, an offer not yet entirely embraced. I expect there'll be times in our relationship when we'll have a, a few prickly moments. I expect there'll be times when we work very well together and what I'm hoping for is that the working well together predominates the relationship. The relationship with Charles Sturt Council is certain to be more prickly. The new mayor, Kirsten Alexander, claims her strong victory is vindication of her campaign against the St Clair land swap. But the local Labor MP warns that decision won't be reversed. The St Clair and Cheltenham issues are, are done and dusted and uh, it would be wrong to give people uh, the expectation that those could be unpicked or undone. A plan to rezone 1,300 hectares of farmland at Mount Barker for housing isn't done and dusted. The government has agreed to make its planning advice public, but only after the decision is made. In Burnside, a controversial council appears to have been entirely replaced, while a million-dollar report into its conduct remains in legal limbo. Whether it's made any real difference, uh, I don't know. Um, but no, this is day one of a new era, and uh, that's history to me. The new mayor says voters are ready to move on. Nick Harpson, ABC News, Adelaide.